Are you worried because you think you might have BPH? We know that the papillomavirus is spread through sexual contact, but there may be some doubts if you acquired it through a sexual contact. Today we are going to inform you through the signs and the symptoms you might have and what this virus can develop. This virus can manifest itself in two forms. The first is through a wart, which is the beginning sign. These do not cause cancer, they are benign, they do not hurt, they do not itch, they do not cause any odor, and they appear in regions of the penis, the vagina, the vulva, in genial areas, they can appear in the buttocks, in the pubis, or even in the lower back area. These lesions are normally elevated, they have a higher border than your normal skin, and you can feel them growing. The coloration may be different from your skin. They can be even be reddish, pinkish, or even dark. Another characteristic of these is that they appear, to appear in various numbers. And as such, if you note that they are beginning to appear and are extending to various areas of your body, it is common to associate it with a common sign of VPH. There are also other VPH words that can appear in other areas of your bodies, such as your hands, which would be warts, or even in your feet, which would be another region of warts. You can also note that, it, as seen beforehand in our other videos, that the skin or mucous membrane will be damaged or there will be a small lesional site. And this is where the VPH virus will interact with your body and can enter it and, and infect the cells, causing these warts. Speaking of dysplasias, or uterine cancer, or even genital cancer, the form in which you can suspect if you have the virus is only done through a microscopical exam and through gynecological examinations. It is why it is very important that you have your yearly examinations done. One form of these examinations is done through a pap smear. This is done through the placement of a mirror in your vaginal area and using a cyto brush, a very small brush. A small example of the area is taken and sent to a pathologist in order to determine the origin of these cells. Another form of this exam is done through a coposcopy. This is done by visualizing the cells of the genital area with a microscope. This allows for the medical doctor to have a better view and it allows even for the application of certain substances such as iodine or septic acid in order to see if these cells react to these substances. And as such, this will allow the, them to either turn yellow in the presence of iodine or even white in the presence of the acid. And these types of changes are characteristic in cells that are probably related with BPH. The most recommended is, is if there is any suspicion of VPH for there to be a biopsy to be taken and sent to a pathologist for their evaluation. It is very important to differentiate the fact that you may be a host of VPH or you may have VPH which is very active. The papillomavirus is very extensive, it has various subtypes and it can cause warts in other areas that don't necessarily mean there was sexual contact. Nonetheless, the signs and symptoms we informed you of are the ones that might indicate a current infection. There are other tests out there that can be done and are becoming the new fad, but these exams are not very specific and should not be taken with much confidence. These can cause the patient to be worried, be stressed out, and be unsure if one day they will have any dysplasia issues further ahead. In our next video, we will talk a bit more about the ways we can prevent these infections and how to control the VPH virus itself. We are going to talk about various ways you can go around about your life controlling it, but due to it being a virus, it is not always fully eradicated. But what we can do is control it and not make it such a big part of our lives. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tune into our other videos. Thank you.